Hi folks, Slay the Black Mage here, and we are here for a Minecraft Let's Build tutorial. Today, I wanted to do a, what well, is normally known in Pacific Northwest as a blue tarp campsite. They're mainly known for, because of the fact of, you have a blue tarp. But, I do want to preface a couple of things. First off, you don't need to use blue. You can use any color you want to for the for your tent. So if you want to use brown, green, pink, polka dot, whatever you wish. Second, the wood used in this build is just wood colors I prefer and that I like. I'm a big fan of the spruce stuff, but if you want to use things like dark oak, birch, jungle, whichever makes you happy, go with that. Now, we're going to make a small cut here and I will show you how to do first the main tent and then I will go over the extras that I added for the campsite you see here. So let's get cracking. For starters, everything in this chest is what you need in order to build exactly like I do. But again, I do advise that if you wish to do different colors or different wood types, please switch it up. It's always good to have some experimentation. So, for those following exactly as I do, you need four chests, an ender chest, six cobblestone walls, 24 rails, 12 ladders, six spruce stairs, six spruce logs, 11 trap spruce trap doors, 35 gravel, two spruce fence gates, two nether quartz ore, four campfires, three lanterns, a cauldron, four hay bales, five leads, a mule, or any other animal if you wish to tie up a cow, a horse, pig, whatever you wish. I just prefer a mule. Uh, four chickens, or four animals of your choice that can go into a one block uh, space. A blast furnace, a smoker, a bed of your color choice, I prefer green, a crafting table, two barrels, five levers, or levers depending on how you prefer to pronounce it, two lightning rods, three blue carpets, 16 plus four, so 20 blue banners, 45 blue wool, and again, the wool and the banner and the carpet can be whatever color you wish it to be. I just want to do blue tarp. A bucket of water, that's mainly for the cauldron, and 29 spruce fences. We also have in the corner here gravel and coarse dirt. I'm not going to put a specific number on these because this is for basic decoration outside of the build and is not necessarily needed, but it does help to add a little detail. You can also work with path blocks if you wish to. So let's get on to the build. All right, so let's get this build going with some basics. I'm going to grab my gravel, my blue wool, the spruce fence, the banners, the carpet. Uh, let's also grab the lanterns, the rails, and crafting table. Now we'll come back for some of this stuff as it's needed, but for now, let's just deal with this. So we've got our little build site, and I think we're going to start off right about here. So top left corner, and we want to go by about five wide. So one, two, three, four, five. So you got five wide. There's a reason why we're planning out the gravel first, by the way. And then we want seven long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, once you get this all cut out, you have your base for your tent site. This, also, this will help with knowing where to place your tent material. In, the, in our case, blue wool. So let's get this all down. So this is what your basic layout, five by seven. 
Now we're going to put the blue wool down. So seven up this side, seven up this side as well. Now we're going to put a fence post on this corner, this corner, this corner, and this corner. Now we'll come back to that in a second. Since this is going to be the back of the tent, or this could be your front, if, it, if it's going to be your front, then you want to do the five fence posts on the other side. However, that's going to be our front for the purposes of today's video. But the front is going to have three fence posts. Now, when it comes to the second layer, you want to put three fence posts here and one here and then grab your wool whoops that did not want to place there and place along here so you start getting a bit of a pyramid shape now we're going to do the same thing to the other side but do note that we're about to remove one of these wool blocks once we place all this uh, let's remove this one so now that we've gone that up we'll place another post here and another post here however we're now going to make this our central supporting weight so now that you've got this you can place along here Miss that and do it to the other side as well. Now, up here, you do the first two and the back two with full blocks. But the middle three, to give it a bit of a swoop, so it's not just a flat line. If you want to do a flat line though, you know, just do full wool. But I prefer doing a little sloop so it has a little detail to it. Now, back here, add two fences to here. Wait, is it here? I th nope, nope, I am wrong. Disregard that, I am so sorry. Put, that, put the two fences there and a lantern here because the lantern has to hang somehow. Now, same to the front side, two along the middle. This gives the idea that this is sort of like a long stick you know, and the tarp doesn't necessarily cover the whole thing, but it covers enough. Now on the inside, I'm going to have my bed right about here. So the crafting bench is going to be at the foot of the bed, and the last lantern is going on top. Now, we've got the rails. We're simply going to pull them along behind the first layer, like so. So it gives the idea of rope being used to uh, strut this up. We're going to do the same to the back side here. Not on the back layer, but the layer before it. Now you should have some rail left over for part of the campsite. We'll get back to the rail when it comes in play. We're now going to deal with the carpet. I mean not carpet, banners. My apologies. So you put two on here. One on the wool block, one on the fence. And then for here, you put one on each of the fence posts. This gives a bit of a tent flap feel. Now for the back side, on the wall, on the fence, just the fences here, wool, fence, fence, wool, fence, not on the corner walls. Now, that takes care of a lot of our stuff. Whoops. Uh, so we will put all this up in here. Because we're not done with most of this. Well, I mean, you, whatever's left over is what we're not done with. Let's do the chicken things. Now, as prefaced before, you don't have to use chickens. I just prefer to use chickens because it's a little easier to uh, get a chicken into a one block hole. So, next to your fence post here too deep hole, place your chicken, you grab the lead, and you lead it up. 
Then you place the dirt block back, or grass if you were able to silk touch. Now it looks like a proper stake. You got the rope, it's sent to the ground, it makes it look like this thing is secure, it ain't going anywhere. So again, animal of your choice, lead it, cover, and good. Again, too deep, animal, lead, strut it, cover, good. And the final time. Animal, lead, strut it, you're fine. Now, hmm, let's see. We're, I'm going to put my mule over here to the back side. Now, whenever I've gone a mule, I've called them Sister Sarah. For those of you wondering why, there's a old Western movie called Two Mules for Sister Sarah. So, I've always called my mule Sister Sarah. How you doing, Sister Sarah? Hopefully you're having a good one. Although that's weird about that whole lead there. Anywho, but again, you don't have to have a mule. You can do whatever you wish. For me, it's the mule. Oh, somehow this doubled. Well, that's weird. All right, so let's see, what should we get to next here? I think we should grab the smoker, the furnace, the bed, barrels, rod, campfire, cobblestone wall, and the chest. Oh, you know what? Let's also grab the gates because we can actually put those in right now. So the gates go right here. Makes it secure so that nothing can walk in. You don't get any visitors coming in trying to come at you. And with the lanterns in their three spots, this entire room is spawn proof. So you don't have to worry. Now, this is where some spare gravel is going to come in handy. So you're going to take out this five pieces of gravel and push them back. So you're going to make your chest lay here. Think of them as like duffel bags at the bottom of your uh, campsite. Uh, and now grab the ender chest and put it in the middle. You can barely see the bottom, so you don't really have to worry, but if it, if it will bother you enough, you can fill the bottom section with the material of your choice, probably gravel. Uh, but for the time being, that will do. Now, I like to have my bed towards the back. And some people like to do it sideways. If you want to do it, you know, with your head here and your feet that way, that's fine. I like to have a little walking room in here, so I keep it here. Now, since I'm having it here, I like to put a barrel right here. Now, the barrel provides extra storage, but it also looks like a headrest from a camping thing. You know, like some, some someone's uh, camp sack that they're using for a pillow. If you've ever been blue tarp camping, you know what I'm talking about. So, get your two walls here. Now, I like to have the smoker at the bottom because blast furnace on top makes it look like uh, you know, we stoke the smoker and we uh, cook in the furnace. Whoops. Now, let's get to the back part. Now, as you can see, it's a little plain back here. We're going to fix that. So, I want to go to about here and dig down one. We're going to put a campfire here. And then we are going to put a barrel on top. Now, once we've got the barrel on top, we're going to put levers or levers, whichever you prefer to call them, on each side of the barrel. Now for the ones on the sides that can point to the ground, you have them point to the ground. This will have it look like that the barrel has secure feet holding it in place so it doesn't move. 
Now, put your lightning rods with your two. You can have them like this. I prefer to do it this way Well, once you remove that. So it looks like metal piping. Once you've got your piping in, you, oh, you go up two more and you put another campfire. Now, let's grab our trap doors. So we're going to put a trap door here. 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 And last but not least, here. For the most part, the campsite well, the tent of the campsite is up and running. Now, something to explain. The reason why we have this little detail here, besides it being looking cool, uh, in Arctic, uh, well, not just Arctic, but I guess cold weather camping, some people will start a fire inside a log, and they'll bind the log so that once the fire dies out, you still have the embers which are producing heat. With the heat that they're producing, the heat comes up through a metal pipe into the tent. That heat can be used to heat up the tent and cook. And then the smoke from cooking goes up there. Now, we shouldn't neglect Sister Sarah. So let's get her little area going. I'm gonna grab the hay bale, the cauldron, and the bucket of water. And I don't need the levers or the lightning rods. So, Sister Sarah, she's been a good mule. So, I'm going to give her... Oh, Sister Sarah, please do not get your muzzle in me. I'm going to give her a bit of hay and a cauldron of water. There you go. Enjoy. Now, we're down to the last segment. And you know what? Let's clear this area out. We're going to make this our campfire zone. So the first thing you want to do, grab your remaining supplies. Uh, don't need you. Now, you want to figure what's a good amount of space. I'd say uh, grab these. Break those. You hear those weird noises and you're like, what did you just pick up? Anywho, so I want to have about here be where the uh, campfire is. So I'm going to dig under it and then around it. All those spots that got removed, I am going to replace with gravel. Oop, nope, one too many gravel there. Now the last two campfires, they go on top of here. Now, where is it? Oh, it's already my hot bar. So we grab, so we put our last two cobblestone walls, and we get our spruce fences. Again, if you want to use different wood types, you can. I just like to use spruce. So now we have our posts. Now here comes the fun part. Using nether quartz ore. So it looks like meat with some bones is being cooked over an open fire. Just little details here or there can bring a lot of life to your camp. So now, we got logs. Whoops. Uh, but you know what? Because of the way that logs place, let's actually place down the spruce stairs just to save people who are following along and having to cut these... Uh, as needed. So we're going to put two stairs there, two stairs, and we'll do two stairs here. Now, spruce logs on the ends of the stairs.
Hmm. I feel like there should be one wider. Yeah, let's make it one wider. So, small addendum, seven spruce stairs. Yeah, that feels a lot better. Now, with your remaining rails, go like that, like that, like that, like that, and like that. Now, this is where your ladders come in. Put them on each side so it looks like you're using rope to tie down the log so it doesn't go rolling. It also gives the small effect that, hey, these seats were made from carving the log. Now again, wood types, you can use whatever you wish to use. Uh, for me, I just like spruce, so I use spruce. Alright, now the final little detail. Uh, oh, it's already in my hotbar. Okay. The remaining trap doors. Put them on the back side so it's not a bland looking thing, plus a little uh, texture doesn't hurt. And that is your campsite. Now, something I like to do is fill in the rest of this with gravel and then pot it around with some coarse dirt. For example, and this is a quick little what I've done. I've dirtied it up, you know, removed some gravel, put in coarse dirt, also did it inside the uh, tent here. Uh, but you're not, you don't need to uh, stick to just gravel and coarse dirt. You can also work with path blocks if you wish to. I just prefer coarse and gravel because, eh, looks a little more used. But yeah, that's it. So, if you guys like this video and want to see some more content like this, consider dropping hitting the like button uh, down below. And if you want to be notified when these kinds of videos are coming out, hit the subscribe button and the bell to be reminded of when they do come out. This has been Slay the Black Mage, and I'll see you all around the bend. Have a good one, folks.